Hey guys, it's Mark here, back again from 30plusbootcampblog.co.uk and um, I'm fully recovered from the half marathon last week and also the excesses of my 32nd birthday. Um, I'm feeling back to my old self and um, I'm here today to show you one of my favourite forms of training, kettlebell training. Okay, now um, I've been really excited about actually shooting this video today because I get a lot of emails on Facebook um, because I actually talk about doing kettlebell training a lot in my updates and, and people say to me, oh yeah Mark, um, you know, what the hell are kettlebells, what do we use them for? And I was exactly the same until I did my kettlebell course two years ago. In fact, even as a personal trainer, I was always a little bit wary to go near them in the gym because I wasn't quite sure what they were for. So like I said, I did my uh, kettlebell course two years ago. It's the best thing I ever done. Before I learned how to do kettlebell training, I was very much into doing the sort of split body part uh, workouts, which I'd sort of tell you to try and get away from. Like I said, I did a lot of time wasted in my 30s, and I don't want you guys to do the same, okay? Um, now, kettlebell training is for functional strength and endurance. Now, when I say functional training to any new client, they often say to me, well, Mark, you know, what, what the hell is functional training? In fact, every new client says that to me. And I was exactly the same before I became a trainer. Now, functional training replicates moves that we do in everyday life. And actually, I've already shown you a functional move, and, and that is a bodyweight squat. Because a squat just replicates getting up and down off the sofa or up and down off the toilet. Okay? And, and see, with the difference between functional training and normal training is functional training helps you replicate these everyday life moves. So whilst you can do a bench press and you push, or you can do a lat pull down, and you pull. When are you just working in that range of movement in everyday life? You're not. You're always twisting, turning. A lot of my 30 plus guys have got kids, so they're picking them up, putting them over their shoulder. You're taking the shopping out of the car, putting it in the cupboards. And a lot of people that haven't got good functional strength will, will often suffer from a little bit of a weak back. So it's important to do some core training uh, to bring on your functional strength before we get into some kettlebells. So if you have had any problems with a weak back, um, don't get straight into kettlebells. Work on some, some planks like I've shown you in the bodyweight business series. You might want to do three sets of 30 seconds with a 30 second rest in between. If you don't have any problems with your back and you're going through my bodyweight business circuits fine, then kettlebell training you know, is for you. Now, with kettlebell training, what it generally does is it works the posterior chain. And the posterior chain is basically all the muscles running down our rear. So we're targeting the muscles in the lower back, which I see a lot of people have problems with, going into the glutes and the hamstrings. Now back in the day when I didn't really know what I was doing with my training, I was overusing my quads because I just used to just like sitting on a machine and doing leg extensions, but I didn't want to lie prone and do hamstring curls. So I had really weak hamstrings, I had problems with my lower back, and it wasn't until I started doing core training and then kettlebells that I got rid of all these problems. And now I use these kettlebells probably two or three times a week. It's totally changed the way I train. And the great thing about the kettlebells is you're using all your muscles again in rhythm. So you're getting maximal calorie burn. And that's exactly what I want to do with all you 30 plus guys, my 30 plus boot campers. We don't want to be going in and just doing bicep curls, tricep extensions, because it doesn't give you that maximal calorie burn. Now science says that our metabolic rate should be slowing down in our 30s so hey at my 30 plus boot camps and using my 30 plus formula we're going to do everything we can to jack it up and make sure that you're burning calories not just in the session but afterwards as well so what i'm going to do today guys is i'm going to show you two kettlebell moves I'm going to start with some basic moves called the swing which i'm going to show you in a minute and show you some techniques then i'm going to show you the clean and after that we're going to put it all together into a little mini kettlebell circuit okay now if we just take you over here um, I've got a couple of 16 kilogram kettlebells because basically this is not what to do with the kettlebells. I see lots of lads, especially young lads in their 20s, after they've done their sessions, their biceps and triceps, they're doing this, thinking that's going to burn off their sides. Well guys, that is an insult to the kettlebells. You're only going to burn off your love handles through the right form of training, body weight training, resistance training, interval training and kettlebell training combined with the good nutrition. Doing side bends, I really don't know, you know what you're trying to achieve. If you're looking to work your obliques, then just do a side plank like I've shown you in my bodyweight business series, okay? So don't insult the kettlebell. Please don't pick a kettlebell up and do curls. Please, if you want to do curls, use a bicep curl machine or use some dumbbells. If you want to pick up the kettlebells and get serious, follow me and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so the swing, okay, is... Um, 
probably one of the first moves that you've seen if you've ever YouTube kettlebells or anything like that. And what we do is, um, oh by the way, I'm going to use a 24 kilogram here, just so I make it a little bit more authentic, okay, because it's a weight that I would normally use, or maybe a little bit higher. Now with the swing, what we're going to do is we're going to take the kettlebell out in front of us first. We're going to slight bend in the legs, and then we're taking our arms out straight, pushing our bum out, and then you start by flowing the kettlebell through your legs, and driving up. Boom. And you can see I'm driving from the hips, I'm using a lot of core power, I'm exploding from the glutes, and actually my heart rate's going right up as I drive forward. It's all core strength, and especially in the lower back as well. Okay, just pop that down. You can see my heart rate's got up just through doing that. Now, you can do kettlebells with the swing and go right up to here. In fact, in, a, in CrossFit, you take the kettlebell right up to there. But because I'm dealing with 30 plus guys that maybe not done kettlebells before, at the minute, I just want you to go to about there. And as we develop this series, then we'll look at getting the kettlebell a little bit higher. So again, we're not isolating anything here. If I tried to pick the kettlebell up without swinging it between my legs, look, I can't lift that, okay? But as soon as I drive it between my legs, bang, and I'm gonna do 10 now, straight off the bat. And you can see the explosive power I have to put into this. I'm bending my legs, the kettlebell's almost touching my backside as it goes through, boom, eight, nine, and 10, 10 kettlebell swings, and the heart rate's gone right up, okay? So uh, getting my metabolic rate up there. Okay, so that's the first move, okay? And now the second move I'm gonna show you is a single arm move, okay? Uh, this is called the clean, and um, basically, the point of the clean is to take the kettlebell from the floor and up, into your midsection here. Now with the kettlebells, everything is done to the midline. So, when the kettlebell goes to there, you can almost put your hands together like you're praying because ultimately we want to get the kettlebell resting in here, okay? Now, please take off your watch when you do things like this, otherwise you're going to break it. And you must be prepared to get a few bruises, uh, sorry, a few, a few bruises. When I did my kettlebell course, I was absolutely covered here and here and here uh, for a couple of days. But with technique and practice, you know, you, you, you'll, you'll be fine. But you might want to invest in some sweatbands, okay? So I'm going to show you without the kettlebell, and you lift from here, and as you go over the waistband, you tuck your arm in, so the kettlebell ends up here. Now I've seen a lot of guys that lift it and then they go right out here. We don't want that, we want to keep everything close to the midline. Now I'm going to show you with a 24 kg, um, because it's one I would use in my normal training, so it's authentic again, and you'll see it's quite explosive. So it's from here, and tuck it in. So from there I can rest. Now when you first start, that is quite uncomfortable, but after you've been kettlebell training for a while, you get used to it. From there you then flip it down. Okay, so it's there, and then flip it down. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is show you momentum and show you eight straight off the bat, okay? Again, watch the force I'm using. Okay. One. Notice the little swing I'm using to drive it up. Four. Five. Six. Again, I'm driving from the hips using a lot of core. That's eight. Nine. And ten. They're not, they're not easy moves and it will take time to perfect it, okay? But guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you a really, really, really uh, effective circuit. And what I'm going to do is show you how it elevates my heart rate and gets me sweating, okay? Um, so I'm going to do this circuit and then I'm going to tell you what you might want to combine it with. But like I said today, I just want to show you two moves. I don't want you to get confused or bogged down. I want you to watch the video again and just watch the technique. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do now is 10 swings. Then I'm gonna do 10 cleans on the left, 10 cleans on the right, and then finish with 10 swings, okay? Um, so be prepared for me not to talk in about, well, I haven't got my watch on, in about a minute, a minute and 30 seconds. Okay, again, I'm gonna be aggressive with the reps and keep a nice range of motion and technique, okay? So, uh, 
Here we go, little mini kettlebell circuit here. Again, I'm using a 24 kg. Um, guys, you might want to start with a 12 or a 16. So, three, two, one, through the legs. from just two minutes circuit. This is the real deal, kettlebells. This is Mark from 30plusbootcampblog.co.uk and uh, I'll see you very soon. Bye.